Hi, everyone. This is Alf Actinus here with the Actiris team. Today, we have another exciting use case for you around sales and operations planning, specifically showing you how you can quickly resolve negative ending inventory balances when performing your demand plan process in Actiris. Now, before showing the use case, let's talk a little about a typical challenge managers as well as demand planners face when performing their demand plan process. In order to ensure that you can meet demand, you need to make sure that your opening inventory levels can actually meet your demand that you have for your customers for a given year. So typically, a big challenge that a lot of managers and demand planners face is having visibility into which products have negative ending inventory balances and which ones they need to focus on to ensure the right supply is replenished to meet that demand for the year. So Within Actiris, it's very easy to do that. In our central command dashboard right here, you can see a list of products as well as the statuses of each of them in our demand plan process and which ones have negative ending inventory balances indicated by red conditional format. We can also see the current week as well as the region where we have a negative ending inventory balance recorded for this given product. Now, before we drill into this product, let's go ahead and let's switch our region to USA to ensure we're planning on that particular region, which has a negative ending inventory balance issue. Now, what I could do here is I can right click and using the drill through capability, I can go to my demand planning page. On my demand planning page, I can see that I'm currently selected on the product right here and the region that we just selected. Using the horizontal scroll bar, we can see that the negative ending inventory balance has started in June 10th of 2024. And if we continue on, we can see that the remaining weeks are also negative due to the fact that we have ran out of inventory at this point. We can also see in the top right corner right here how much replenishment we're currently in the negative for and what we're going to need to do in order to meet that replenishment. We can also see in our chart right here where exactly that negative ending inventory is going negative. Now, utilizing our Actiris matrix visual, we can edit our particular values right here and seeing that we need a minimum of 4,709 quantity for this product to meet that demand, we can go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is since we have a very high demand, as we can see from our chart right here in January, I'm going to go ahead and assume that we're going to need to replenish our supply within January. So I'll go ahead and I'll put it 6,000 right here for the units I want to replenish. I know that I need a minimum of 4,709, but in case there's new demand that comes into play later down the, the forecast process, I want to make sure we're supplying the appropriate demand. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And now after making that change, we can see here that our ending inventory balances are now in line and positive, and we no longer see a negative red indicator showing that we need to replenish our supply. We can also add a comment for this particular value stating why we made this replenishment. I can also put links right here if I wish to link to a specific, specific support page, but for right now, I'll go ahead and just put this comment and save. We can also see that there is a little indicator showing that our comment has been added. And now heading back to our homepage right here, we can now see that that particular product no longer has a negative inventory balance. So just within a few clicks, we were able to quickly resolve the negative inventory balance and make sure that our product's demand can be met with the appropriate supply replenishment. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Alp with the Actiris team signing out.